What's up, Wizards? Welcome back to my channel, G Wiz TV. Thanks for tuning in. If you are not subscribed, do me a favor and click that subscribe button. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys everything that I picked up during New York City Comic Con 2019. I was there for three days, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And unfortunately, it has come to an end. And like every year, I have a blast at New York City Comic Con. You guys, it's so much fun. This is my third year going. I cannot wait for next year. But without further delay, let me jump in and show you guys what I picked up. Because as you can see, I picked up quite a lot. So, yeah, let's start over here. All right, and we have a Birch, the Birch, the Birch um, t-shirt and picture that I got for free for standing in line and taking a picture for the Netflix show that will be coming out soon. As you can see next to that, I have the Mezco Stewie Octa Stewie. Uh, the official name is, yeah, Mutant Stewie, which is pretty cool. Got that for $10. Well, actually, I got them. It was three for 25. So, yeah. I also got Mort Goldman, as you can see, which is pretty cool. These are all Mezco figures. We have the reporter, Trisha Takanawa. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Down here, we have Crystal Bell. Like you can see, pretty cool. Next to him, we have Meg with a pig and all the accessories. Brand new in the box. We got a Sailor Moon, custom, uh, original artwork, Sailor Moon. Definitely dope. I will be putting the tags and info for some of these artists in the description. We got some free pins, stickers, and promo pack cards right there. We got a bunch of Sailor Moon stuff. I have a Sailor Moon lucky bag. I'm not sure what's in there, but I will be doing a separate video unboxing that. And we have a bunch of the Twinkle Dolly Sailor Moon figures. Pretty cool. We got some free retro Valentine's Day cards that we got for free. Got a Geico bag that I got for free for staying in line doing the Geico picture. Actually, that Geico picture of there with me as the Avengers, which was pretty cool to get. You can see. Okay, next we have Cyrax Storm Collectibles. Definitely had to pick that up once I saw that that was available. Under him, we have the new Smoke Storm Collectibles. And we definitely had to pick up Baraka. As you can see, can't wait. My Mortal Kombat display is going to be lit. And between them, we have a Catwoman figure that's actually for somebody else. Above that, we have the Betty Boop entertainment earth chase i did not pay 50 dollars for that guys it was definitely 30 dollars um i had another booth that was selling it for 25 i didn't think it was gonna come with the case but it did but hey i had already purchased this one next to that we have some exclusive dope sailor moon original artwork by teddy huddleston i'll put his information in the description you guys definitely check out his artwork his work is amazing next we have Two of the con exclusive, we have Vampire Mr. Burns from the Braum Strokes Dracula, which is definitely one of my favorite horror movies of all time, vampire movies, etc. We have the con exclusive Blunt Man and Chronic, Jay and Silent Bob, definitely had to pick that up, love the movie, love the characters. Like I said again, right here next to that, we have the Avengers picture that I got for the free photo op for standing in the Geico line. Next, we have Angela. We have Angela from Spawn. Definitely happy to start collecting these figs again. I had them as a child, but you know, once you get to a certain age and your parents tell you you got to get rid of your figs, you don't have them anymore. So now I'm going to start back collecting Spawn figures. Definitely one of my favorite character shows, comics, all of that. Next, we have some original artwork, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon mug, which is definitely dope. If anybody that knows me knows, I love me some Sailor Moon. There's the same t-shirt there that's the actual same image as on the mug. We got Sailor Moon poster underneath there. Some Sailor Moon custom artwork stickers. Some Sailor Moon holographic stickers. 
some Sailor Moon mini glow mystery minis, Sailor some Moon. Sailor Moon holographic stickers, some Sailor Moon mini glow mystery minis, Sailor Moon uh, mystery mini bags, keychains, uh, Sailor Venus keychain. We got some Power Ranger magnets, mini magnets, Mighty more from Power Rangers, a My Hero Academia poster, free comic book underneath there. I finally got the Marvel Legends Nebula that I needed to complete my Mantis figure. I have a custom pin by this dope artist that I'm going to put his information in the description as well. Designer Toys R Us. I was able to find the Sable and Undertaker, one of 5,000 WWF figures. Definitely two of my favorite from when I used to watch wrestling, if anybody knows me. I also, I know I love some Sable, Undertaker, you know, you already know about Undertaker. So there, we also picked up, I was looking for this figure online, saw that con, had to pick it up from the Wildcats, Z-Lot, had this figure as a child. And, yeah, so I definitely had to pick that up again. Next to her, we have Void from Wildcats. Pretty dope figure. All brand new in packaging. Has all the accessories and the free card that comes with it. Got a Sailor Moon Super Collection album. Hard, hard case for, like, photos or whatever you want to put in there to protect. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. That I All right, guys, so let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about what I picked up. What's your favorite thing that I got in my entire haul? I also will be putting, like I said, the description for some of the artists that I have in the description box below. Do you like it? Do you love it? Let me know. Let me know if you've ever been to Comic-Con. If not, check out my other videos. Get the experience. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.